Hello, human. Welcome to the Job Simulator. My name is JobBot, and I'm the curator of this fine job museum. Here's my card. All right. Why don't you grab one of the job cartridges off the table, and let's get started. There's never a dull day in the old cubicle farm. Hold on there. You gotta know how to get back here. You don't want to get lost in a virtual reality. Hit this button to come back. Time to jump. Hello, human. Welcome to an accurate simulation of Office Worker. Take a look at this board for instructions. Workers would traditionally start their day with an addictive liquid stimulant. Now you're ready to start your day. It's time for computer. The computer is the most important facet of the office, with humans and safety being a close second and third. Email was an inefficient form of communication popularized in the mid-1990s. Ah, the freedom of Inbox Zero. Hey, what the? Ooh. 
Ah, that almost okay. hurt. That almost hurt. Come on. Howdy, neighbor. Who did it? Uh, why is it not five o'clock yet? Hey, what the? Come on! Why is it five o'clock yet? Who threw this? Hey, stand up. That, yeah. that, Who almost threw it? that was a pretty nice throw. Who threw this? Stand up. Who did it? Hey, what the? Here comes Supervisor Bot. Better look busy. Okay, everybody, let's make some business. Johnson, I'm counting on you to paradigm shift those optimizations. Uh, you can count on me. That's what I like to hear. Hey, human, you've been doing a good job. I've been thinking about giving you a promotion. In fact, if nothing goes wrong in the next 10 seconds, the job's yours. You see, that's why I like you. Always working hard to climb that ladder. Take this. The new position's yours. Come on. Good job, human. You're climbing the ranks. And here comes Bossbot. Looks like he's got more work for you.
Hello, human. I am Boss Bot. I notice you've logged in, so I'm here to give you your first task of the day. We need to bring some new bots on board, so look through your resumes and find two bots to hire. You heard them. Make sure you pick the best bots for the job. This is the happiest day of my life! Can't believe it's my first day! Have you seen the latest sales report? This isn't good. Load up the old spreadsheet program and fix these numbers. Wow, you cook those books like a professional gourmet chef. It's time for lunch. At midday, humans would interact with primitive robots known as hey, vending machines to obtain food. Looks delicious. Enjoy your meal, human. Hey, co-worker, can you get me a candy bar? Looks like it's stuck. Sadly, this was common with early generations of robots. Thanks, co-worker! Hey, co-worker! Over here! Get on your computer and check out these hilarious pictures! Thank you. 
Come on! That almost hurt. Hey, that was a pretty nice throw. <laughs> Hello, human. I'm looking forward to your presentation today on all of the business that we did in the last week. So BossBot wants you to do a presentation. You'll need to make some slides. Time to learn about an ancient human technique called winging it. Try using this program in your computer. So, you ready to go through this presentation? Here's the clicker. Use the button to go through your slides. Interesting concept. Nice job, human. That was very business. Hey human, bot number 10110 is retiring tomorrow. We wanted to give them a parting gift. Everyone's pitching in. Why don't you give me something you'd like to contribute? A 
Oh, how thoughtful. I'm sure they will. Appreciate it. Anyway, do you think you could type up a quick card to go with this? It would make it a lot more... Personal. Good. Hand it to me. Hey, that almost hurt. I'll handle the rest. Thanks for helping out. Uh, things aren't going too well. We need to find a couple bots we can let go. Take a look at these employee evaluations. saving up to buy a new hard drive. First my stapler gems and now this? In the office, co-workers would converse around the liquid dispenser. Man, did you hear that? Bot 2272 got fired? Man, that's notable. Hey Bill, did you see the sports event on TV last night? It was pretty touchdown. <laughs> Check out these photos of my many children. Do you bear children, human? <laughs> Isn't that sweet? some papers I need you to shred. It has to be you for legal reasons. I don't really want to get into it. Here, just look in the case. Shred everything. Just get rid of it.
here's the other thing. I just found out that for insurance reasons, you can't actually have this much stuff in your cubicle. So, uh, you're going to need to get rid of some of that, too. was a close one. All right, carry on. Nothing to see here. Right there. Hold it. Don't let that bot get away. Hello, human. I am CEO Bot. Here's the thing. Boss Bot needs to go away for a while, and you've been doing a really good job. So I'd like to offer you a promotion. Happy promotion to, to human. human. Happy, Happy promotion, promotion to, to human. human. Now make a wish oh. and blow oh. up the candles. Sorry, human. Looks like there's not enough cake for you. Here you go, human. I got you a present. Now that you're the boss of this department, I'll leave it to you to do the honors. Come on! Hey! you to come in on Saturday well there you have it human I hope this has given you a better idea of what it was once like to office worker well you know how to get back to the museum if you want to I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want Grab a cartridge from the tray, and let's get to work. The stapler. An extinct document binding device circa early 21st century used to keep flattened tree remnants held together for organizational purposes. The commute. Workers would commonly utilize dangerous four-wheeled structures known as automobiles to travel to and from work. 
office building. Humans would congregate in vertical work towers known as office buildings. The Businessman. Here you can see a recreation of the common businessman, complete with the typical attire of the time period. kitchen. Do I see an aspiring chef? Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Gourmet Chef. We'll start by making some breakfast. Turn on the grill and let's get frying. Even though humans spend the entire night in a state of low power consumption, they still require food energy as soon as they wake up. Bacon and eggs provide a high energy taste ratio. Put your creations on the plate and you can ring the bell to send it out to the restaurant. The smoothie is one of the most efficient forms of human food. Simply take some of your inefficient solid food and put it through the blender. Good. Pour it out into a cup and then we can serve it. Hello, 
human, uh, might I trouble you for some tea and crumpets? Tea is a traditional human beverage consisting of heated water and flavor. Let's begin with heating some water using a kettle. Like most beverages, tea is best optimized for consumption by being placed in a cup. Similar to tea, crumpets also require heat. To cook flat items, humans use devices called toaster. Let's try making some soup. As you can see, there are several different kinds we can make, but they all start with putting some water in the pot. Great! Now fill it up with whatever kind of ingredients you want. Just like Mombot used to make. Next, create a vertical arrangement of organic elements. Humans refer to this as a sandwich. I'm trying to cut down on gluten, but that looks pretty sandwich.
Yes, bonjour. Today I have brought you a very rare steak. It is a 1984 vintage. Eh? I wish to have it prepared. Please, human, do continue. I do wish for it to be well done. Ah, yes, quite well done. Now, if you would be so kind as to pair it with your finest vintage grape juice. Très bien, très bien. Please have it delivered out to the restaurant at once. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Before you plate that, did you realize that was famed meat aficionado meat butt? We better make sure our service is exceptional. Better slip this on the plate too. Hello, it's my little Timmy Bot's birthday. Can we get some pizza for the kids? Pizza is generally defined as a combination of bread, tomato, and cheese. Chefs would put their own twist on the dish, adding additional food items known as toppings. Let's begin by blending up some homemade tomato sauce. Delicious. Now apply sauce to bread. We are almost there. Combining the bread with some cheese in the microwave should fulfill all material requirements. That looks like enough to supply the festivities. Send them off to the dining room.
I forgot to mention, little Timmy is deadly allergic to tomatoes. Could you make a special slice? What do you want instead of sauce on your pizza, Timmy? I want sauce! That sauce! Make me applesauce! All right. The human will make you some applesauce. Go sit down now. Thing. Timmy is also allergic to warmth. Could you just serve the ingredients raw? Thank you! Eat up, Timmy! The human made it special for you! Mmm! Just how I like it! trying to propose to my romantic partner. I want it to be a surprise. Can you hide this ring inside a sandwich or something? That's great! Uh, one more thing, though. I wanted to have some romantic music playing while I do it, but I forgot to burn this disc. Could you burn it for me? To show affection for one another, humans of the past would burn music onto primitive storage devices called discs. The details of the burning procedure have largely been lost to history, but it must have had something to do with heat. So much. Uh, make sure you load the disc into the boombox and hit play before you send out that sandwich. I'll take care of things from there. Feels much heavier than usual. 
Huh, that's interesting. I wonder if there's something different inside? What, what do you mean? What, uh, what's this? My sweet, I... Emotion, you... Will you enter a legally binding partnership with me? Oh, of course! I'm the happiest spot in the world! Oh, wow! The answer was affirmative! The answer was affirmative! Well, the kids are all finished with their pizza and now they're ready for cake. We do get a free birthday cake, right? Can't argue with that. Human-run restaurants were morally obligated to provide free cake on children's birthdays. Good thing we have a microwave that can quickly mutate ingredients into food. Okay, kids, let's get going. Hey, boss, that party left a huge pile of dirty dishes. We're gonna need your help to get through these. They're pretty nasty, so make sure you use a good squirt of soap. Well, that's okay. We'll just take it out of your paycheck. Thanks for your help. You there! I need your help! The health inspector's on his way over and I don't think we're gonna pass inspection. You need to clean this place up and make it safe and sanitary. You can start by destroying all this old fruit. <laughs> Okay, that's one thing taken care of. How about those sprinklers? See that little thing up on the ceiling? Try chucking something at it. See what happens. I guess it's not working. Oh well, what are the chances of there being a fire in here anyway? Now we need to deal with any potential insect problems. Look around and see if you can find anything. Yikes, that's not good. You need to do something about these guys. Get rid of them quick!
Well, I guess that'll have to do. Here comes the health inspector. Okay, everybody stop what you're doing. It's inspection time. Hmm, yes. Interesting. Ugh, that's questionable. Mm, Alright then, I'll just tally these results. And it looks like you've passed this time. Phew, that was a close one. But now we can get back to business. Hey, Chef! There's a bot here to film an episode of some TV show with you? Hmm. Well, they say it was already booked ahead of time, so... Well, just do whatever they say. Hey, human! I'm TV Bot. We're doing a show on how these organic nutrient packs are made. So I just need to record some footage of you going through the various steps, okay? First step is to blend up this protein pill. <laughs> Let's get a shot of you doing that. Hey, okay, great, that was good. Now let's get a shot of you putting this flavor packet in the microwave. All right, it's in there. Close the door and let me get a shot of the microwave running. All right, everybody's following along at home. We got our fully expanded flip. Beautiful. Now just pour that blended protein fluid onto the cube and we are done. Job, human. Really appreciate it. Oh, one more thing. Can I get a shot of you eating it? Just act like it's real delicious, alright? <laughs> hey, thank you so much, human. This is some great footage. This episode's gonna be fantastic! Hey human, check this out. I found this rare Turbo Ghost Death Nova Pepper. Can you prepare it for me? I like it, H-O-T. How? Come on, put some heat into it. Come on, that's not hot enough. Can't you do something else? Hmm, yeah, I guess that'll have to do. Give it here. Hey, Chef. We got three bots out here who ordered the special. Not sure what that means, but that's what they want. Ordering the special means placing your trust in the Chef. Just give those bots anything. Be creative. That looks interesting. Send it off to the customer. <laughs> what a fascinating dish! Another beautiful looking meal, chef. Uh, this meal looks so truly special. And 
That'll do for the last one. <laughs> Is this some kind of avant-garde meal? They wanted something special and they certainly got it. Nice cooking, human. Holy smokes! This is way too hot! Oh, sounds like the guy with the hot pepper from earlier. Hey, chef! Help a bot out here! Come on! Woo! Thanks, human! You really saved my circuits! got word from the TV studio, human. They liked your performance on that commercial you did, so they're sending in a camera crew, and they're gonna put you in a reality show. In the distant past, having your own reality show was seen as the peak of human achievement. Good work, human. Okay, bots, let's get those cameras set up already. Ready to go, boss. You ready, human? Okay, bring in the talent. Nice to meet you, human. I'm Chef Bot Ramshead. Let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Okay, we'll start with the meatball scene. And action. What are you waiting for, human? Get cooking! These meatballs aren't going to prepare themselves. Is that how you cook for your family at home, human? Disgusting! Ugh, those look so bad. My neural network associates them with literal garbage. So are you going to serve them or just let them sit there and get even more disgusting? Truly despicable. My kids could cook a meal a hundred times better than that and they're graphing calculators. Cut. That was good. Well, great so far, human. I know I could be a little loud on camera, but it's all just part of the show, you know? All right, scene two. That's the freeform cooking part. And action. You worthless chemical-based meat bag. Get to cooking. Make something good. Show us what you can do. Anything. So overdone, it could be a meme. You about finished yet? Hurry up, serve it. That's what you call a meal. Cut. That's a wrap, folks. Great performance, human. I've got a lot of respect for you after this. Hope to work together again sometime. Farewell. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want. Grab a cartridge from the tray, and let's get to work. Are you a fan of slushies and hot dogs? You'll love the convenience store. Hello, human. Welcome to an accurate simulation of... Convenience store clerk. Take a look at this board for instructions and grab a ticket when you're ready to get started.
let's open up this shop. You can start by cleaning off your counter. You also want to turn on the security camera so you can keep an eye on the store. Alrighty, let's get to business. Here's your first customer. Good afternoon, human. I would like to purchase these... Chips. Could I also get one of those meat cylinders, please? Hot dogs are in the freezer. Make sure you heat them up, at least a little bit. Acceptable. Hurry up and scan that so I can get eating already. You can just thank the bunch. To finalize a sale, pull the lever on the register. Paper currency. Don't forget to hand over the change. Many thanks. Have a profitable day. It was important for stores like this to maintain a constant stream of customers so that cashiers wouldn't have time to contemplate their rapidly approaching obsolescence. Well, hello! Would you kindly put the- Ah, yes! Much better! I'll take one of those frozen slushy delights! Jumbo size lap. Oh, I love the taste of sugar. Oh, you're very good at scanning. Now, would you pass that to me? And here's some banknotes for you. Keep the change, good human. Cha-cha! I'll take a paper copy of yesterday's news. And uh, I'll take my daily lottery ticket as well. Oh dear, I'm feeling a little faint today, dearie. Do you think you could scratch that lottery ticket for me? You can use my quarter. Oh my! <laughs> Granny's gonna buy a new stick of ram! 
Let me just write you a check for those. There we are. young human you are. Have a lovely day. So I'm like, yeah, brah, it's a buyer's market. They're looking at me like I'm crazy, you know? And what, what are you talking? No, no, I'm talking to you. No, you. Yeah, you. You got that hot dog already? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I hear you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm talking to you. No. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. dog? No. I was talking, not you. I want some gum. No. Not you. The human. I want to buy some gum already. Jeez. What is this? Your first job? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? Wow. Took you long enough. N no. Not you. The other. Uh, forget it. Some people just don't know how to listen, am I right? Yeah, no, you, no, I'm talking to you, bro. No matter how irritating the customer, humans were required to smile and be polite. Oh, my little angel, put that nice, healthy banana up there for the human. Now you stay here for a minute, dearie. Mommy needs to use the little box room. Alright, human. Sorry about the wait. Have you rung up our order? Dearie, why don't you hand the human the money? Whoa! Money? Okay, here. <laughs> uh, uh, what did you do to my darling? Come back here! You did the right thing there, human. Just do whatever the customer or their children wants and make sure you always grab that money. Yo, this place is looking sick! But you know what it needs? More maximum energy branding. Why don't you bring up that display and we can pump it up a bit? That's the one! Let's max this thing out! I gotta run to the bathroom, so I'm counting on you to really push the envelope on this thing! If you're all done, just hit that button and let's lock this thing in! Hey! 
Jimmy! Over here! Uh, I need something for, uh, cleaning. Uh, gotta clean up here. Pass me something! Anything! Uh, I guess I can make this work. Yeah, I'll be out in a second. Alright, much better. Let's see this display, human. Alright, looking good. And now we're on brand, baby. Boom! <laughs> Peace out, human. Oh, I just got back from jogging, and, oh man, do you have something to replenish my electrolytes? Oh, this, uh, this maximum energy stuff, uh, looks new, right? Uh, it looks like you have to shake it. Could you shake it? Alright, that looks good! Hurry up and scan it! I need a drink already! Alright, alright, here's your money! Take it! Take it! Oh, I feel energized! So energized! Back before the universal credit system, some humans had more money than they knew what to do with and struggled to find ways to spend it. Hmm, hello, human. Looks like I've got some money to blow. What's good here? Give me... stuff. Whatever's good. Oh, yeah, oh no, that's cool. Uh, how about a couple more things? Perfect! Here's a bunch of money! Keep the change! Nothing like a little retail therapy. Make sure you grab their money. This is your weekly delivery, stuff from the shelves and stuff. Well, there you go, you know the drill. Dumb on the gum rack, magazines on the magazine rack, put stuff where it goes, get it sorted. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at you go. Taking the box out. See you later. Hey, uh, I don't have any money. Is there anything in there I could have for free? Hmm, how about those popsicles in the freezer? If we don't sell those by tomorrow, we're gonna have to throw them out anyway. I wasn't expecting to actually get something. Oh, uh, if you're able to, could I get a bit of change too? Wow, thanks. You're a real good person. I'll be going now. Hello there, human. Look at this. I've got a coin here for you. <laughs> what could I buy for this? Surely you could give me something. <sighs> Just give this bot something. Preferably not something especially valuable. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Sometimes it was necessary to make special deals with customers like this to assure their repeated patronage. Wait, oh no, here comes trouble. Yeah, see, today's not your lucky day, pal. Open that safe and give me all your cheddar. I'm gonna buy a new pair of shoes. Later, chump! You'll never catch me! Despite dealing almost exclusively in low-value products, convenience stores were often the targets of robbery. get some food? I think this bot's had a little too much juice. Better throw something to get its attention. Huh? Oh! Oh! Uh, hey. I, uh, um... Oh, I forgot what I want. Uh... Burrito. Oh! Burrito's good! <laughs> wait, 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 I want like, like a big burrito. Like real big. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Big burrito. <laughs> Here's your money. Don't forget to put cash in the register. Just because your customer is... All right. Later. Wow there. I haven't seen a mess this big since the human uprising of 2027. Hold on there, human. I have just the thing. Why don't you try it out? The keyhole is right there by the dial. See it? 
This microbot is designed to clean even the most disgusting human messes. Grab the controller and clean those stains around the store. That's good enough for now, I think. Just pull the key out to deactivate the robot, and we'll move on to our next customer. Something about this seems a little bit strange. You should probably check their ID. Oh yeah, ID, no problem. Me, I mean, I got that right here. Check it out with your universal scanning device, human. Well, the technology is never wrong. That appears to be one legitimately adult robot. I guess you can give them their fireworks. important thing is that the product is safe. Let's move on. Good evening, human. I understand you were held at Banana Point earlier this evening. We've captured the suspects. We just need you to point out who did it. Who took your cheddar? Let me make it simple for you. Here are the three suspects. Just hand me the one who did it. Make sure you're certain. This is the bot who did it? Well, let's go, bots. Yeah, brah. So I'm going to an area with, like, bad reception? Looks like you're getting the hang of this clerk job, kid. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want.
Hello, human. Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. A true grease monkey. Get under the hood and get your hands dirty in our simulated mechanics shop. Hello, human. This is an accurate simulation of Auto Mechanic. Take a look at this board for instructions. And robot relations are on the mend. Footing and humans are a piece of a car. Well, there's lots of stuff inside of a car you gotta tuck around with and move around with. You know. Gotta do your job. Gotta get dirty. Good morning, human. I require a tune-up. Please take a look under the hood. This spot just needs a little fluid. No problem. This vehicle's power source appears to be unacceptably inefficient. Well done. That's looking very car. Press the button to drop it back down when you're finished. In shops like these, everything had a price. Make sure you bill the customer for the use of your highly valuable time. Oh. 
Oh, thank you, human. I'll get this taken care of right away. Very good, human, but we're just getting started. The world of auto mechanic has so much more to offer. Human, I've got this coupon for a sleaze bot special, whatever that is. Says that there's a discount, so hurry up and take care of my car. Get a move on. Human, over here. I'm Sleazebot, the owner of this fine establishment. Now this bot's got a coupon, so let's take real good care of them by sabotaging their car and making them come back later for more work. Okay, pistons in the engine? Don't need those. Uh, yeah, just to uh, recombobulate the, the, the thing there. Uh, how about my headlight fluid? Uh, how's that looking? <laughs> yeah, I know about cars. Headlight fluid? You name it, we got it. Get this bot some headlight fluid, human. dealing with fluids here. Why don't we spice up their gas tank with a little secret ingredient that'll ensure they're back later for more work. Give them this new coupon I came up with when you're done messing with their car. Oh, another coupon, is it? I do like discounts. You've really earned my patronage, good human. Nice job with that, bot. You did all right, human. Now you keep at it. I'll be in the back counting the money. Well, I just got this beauty at the local junkyard. Just needs a little love so I can drive illegally. What do you say? Human transport vehicles had to be evaluated for safety regularly. Broken components like these headlights would have to be replaced before evaluation. Filter's not doing too good either. Wanna take a look at that? Yeah, filter's under the hood, human. Keep up, all right? How about my rust problem? Figure you could cover that up with a fresh coat of paint?
Well, that looks good as new. Makes that old hood ornament look uh, aesthetically displeasing. Think you can swap that out with something new and shiny? Well, reboot my hard drive. It's like a whole new car. Drop it down and give me that bill so I can show it off to my buddies. Thank you kindly, human. Hello, human. I am required by law to do emissions test on my vehicle? Get it done so I can get out of this dump. Thank you. Yeah, this looks like a lot of work. Let's see if we can figure out a shortcut. Check my stash, see if there's anything in there that could help us. Banana! That'll do it! Nothing coming out of the tailpipe, no problem, right? Well, this car is looking a lot more appealing. My work here is done. Back when cars were driven by humans, drivers would use air fresheners to improve the breathing quality of the air within the vehicle. So, does this mean I passed? Well, I did my part. Catch you later, human. I'm just having the worst day ever. My tires are shot and I need some replacements.
Could you put a spare tire in the back of my truck so I'm a little more prepared? I'm pretty sure my engine's overheating too. It's making all kinds of weird noises. When objects are too hot, fluid can be used to cool them down. a bit better but uh I spilled my slushy on the way over here could you fill it up for me before nutritional implants humans also needed fluid from time to time <laughs> thanks human maybe this day is gonna turn around for me after all anyway drop my car down when you're done and uh, let me see the damage This is nothing compared to my student loans. Thanks for getting me back on the road. Back in the age of capitalism, shops like this would be hesitant to question a customer's needs. Uh, hey human, I need an emergency paint job. I suddenly decided I hate the color of this car. Totally normal thing to do. I'm not on the run or anything. Give this buck whatever they want, human. It's not our concern. I can really use some more gas, too, if you want to fill it up. I've been on the run. I mean, I've been having fun. Fun ride. Just, uh, put some gas in, please. Great. Let's wrap this up by giving me a new license plate. Yeah, just to really drive home that unique new look. Perfect. Just finish up whatever you're doing and drop the car so I can flee. I mean, leave normally. Okay, just give me the bill. You know I've got the cheddar. You never saw me, alright? Human, I'm participating in a car show tonight, and I want to look my best. Think you can give my car a looking at? This one's all yours, human. Just drop the lift when you're done.
Ooh, nice color. I can dig it. New tires. Okay, give me something fresh. I can see you're busy, so just drop the car when you're finished with it, all right? Hey, you know what? You did a pretty good job with this. Just hand me the bill and I'm out of here. All right, human. See you again sometime. Okay, human. There's a big race going on today, and I've decided to sponsor it. We're guaranteed to make lots of money off this. We just need some advertising. This is the sign we're gonna put out. Start by hanging some decorations on the sides there. Use anything, whatever looks good. Here's some old paints I had lying around. Paint something cool in the middle, and then hand me the paintbrush when you're done. That looks, uh, good enough. Out it goes. Now we just sit back and wait for the customers to come swarming in. Okay, so I was racing super fast as usual, and out of nowhere there was all this oil and debris, and I spun out, and my car's all messed up now, so, so what's the deal? Can you help me or what? Hurry up! Come on! Give this bot the best we got, human. These racing types are always willing to shell out the money for the top brands.
Okay, maybe that'll work, but I feel like we could go even faster. Uh, could you load up the 404 with some turbo NOS? The fastest you got. Pour it right in there. Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Interesting. <laughs> if you're sure this will work, I trust you. Okay, now it's time to win this race. I'm out of here. Let's go. See ya. Cool! Hey man, can you help me clean out my traveling van? It's kind of gnarly in there and I'm picking up some weird vibes. You got anything to help out with the smell? That's looking a lot better. So, I'm trying to go fully green, man. Could you switch my um, battery out to something that really vibes with my style? Human, that looks good. I'll see what I can do about this bill. Hey, Celise, bud. I got the car just like you asked. Let's hurry up and get to work before he comes looking for it.
Oh, a uh, human. This is a special job. We got to uh, strip this thing down for parts. For, for reasons. Come on, human. Grab everything you can. Hurry up. Nice. Those will be easy to resell. Leave nothing behind. <laughs> Batteries are always in demand. Where is the money? Tires are good. Make sure you nab all of them. Hello. Oh, here he comes. Act natural. It took me a while to find where you parked my car, valet bot. I never would have expected you to get it tuned up for me like this. <laughs> it's great. Are you done with it? Can I drive it home? A free tune-up? <laughs> this is the best valet service ever. Nice job. I'll be back for my share of the earnings later. Let's just call that last job a little bit of personal business. Just pretend you never saw anything, all right? Wow, that car looks pretty messed up. Oh, you gotta help me, human. I took my dad's car out last night with my friends and now it's a mess. He's gonna kill me. Okay, this won't be too bad. Just clear off those branches for starters. That uh, novelty air freshener looks incriminating. Better remove that, too. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. I just realized he's totally gonna know I used the car because the mileage counter. Can you do something? Yeah, <laughs> classic. I used to do this all the time when I was a kid. Just throw the car in reverse and put the pedal to the metal. bit more evidence in the trunk. You think you could get rid of that too? Uh, okay, great. Just do anything you gotta do. Just bill me when you're done. I still have my dad's credit card, so... Thanks, human. I'll get this squared away uh, later. You're the best. Every year we have a float in the local parade. We get to decorate this thing with a bunch of grifty loot pots and build a mayor for it. It's great. So, let's give this thing the works. How about a fresh coat of paint? Those circular platforms on the corner are where we can display some parts. Fill them up with stuff you want to showcase.
Nice, nice. Now, uh, what's a float without some dangly bits? Attach some stuff on the sides. On those little pigs. There's room for some more on the back there, too. This looks great. We're gonna get so much money from the mayor. Drop it when you're done, and we'll send it out. Parades were celebratory events where humans drove slow processions of decorated vehicles in a line. Hello, human! I'm on my way to get married! I thought you could help me decorate my car with some... Debris. Following a marriage ceremony, it was an ancient human tradition to attach garbage to the back of their vehicles for attention. I think we need more debris. Debris equals love. Put it inside, put it outside, put it everywhere! Looks amazing. Now for one last tradition. Break a bottle of my family's finest grape juice on the car. You've done so much for us. It kind of feels like you're part of the wedding party now. Do you have a gift for us? You can just throw something in the trunk. Discount on this, buddy. Wedding jobs are double price. Oh. Well, uh, I'll sort this out. You gotta get going or I'll be late. Well, I'd love to keep exploiting this free labor, but that's all I got for you, human. Not bad. Not bad at all. I hope this has given you a better understanding of what it was once like to auto mechanic. Well, you know how to get back to the museum if you want to. I'll just be hanging out here while you do whatever you want. Hello, human. You work the nine to five, but are you ready for infinite overtime?
Hello, human, and welcome to the exciting world of... Overtime. When you're ready to start, grab a memo from the corner of the desk. Everybody knows that the real job starts after work hours. That's why you're here, human. Make sure to attend to your colleagues' needs. If you do a good job, you might even get to keep your... Employment. Come on, human, I want to finish sometime tonight! I'm trying to sleep here! Hey, I'm working here! Are you bored, human? The best deals happen after the sun has set. Without a paper trail, there is no proof we engaged in business. I cannot read that. Could you give it to me in the form of an image? This all looks in order. Let us shake hands to seal the deal.
Fantastic working with you. I'm sure Boss Bot will be glad we did this before he got in tomorrow. Come to your house and throw things! In interviews, it is common to greet by moving hands in an up and down motion. Here's a resume template I found online. qualities that make a bot qualify for our corporate needs. I'm sure you're busy. How about we just say I'm hired? Great! Now I can quit my other job. I'm working here! I want a snack, but I'm not programmed to use vending machine. Could you order me something? That was not cool. We need these documents processed before we're allowed to throw them away. Get busy stamping.
Thanks, human. That freed up some of my processing time. When working late, humans would eat crunchy snacks. That is why it's called crunch time. with some refreshing H2O. I hope you feel less dry. Everything is possible if you put your mind to it. Here's a promotion. I just finished cleaning that cubicle! Let's play Dumpster Ball. Janitor Bot hears you! Janitor Bot doesn't care! I feel like I just got posterized. Can you check if this desk still works? Zero out of ten. Human? My cousin can do better. Overtime was a common business practice indicative of how important work was to being human. Your desk looks like a sewer. Karate chop a few objects into the shredder so we can get some pizza.
hands, the night shift never ends. <laughs> A clean desk leads to a clean processor cache. I really like this picture. Can you make this our logo? I can't wait to see this logo on paper. Your work-life balance seems a little skewed. Add some life to your workspace. alert! The human is doing a great job. You're lucky I'm around to clean this up! Oh! I guess they couldn't find a bot who was available to interview me. I don't have much experience, but here's a resume. to make sure they're working. How does the hiring process work? See, I'm already learning on the job. This news is so negative. Human, this antique food delivery device needs physical currency to function. Can you assist me? I'd like a snack. I'm sure I'll ever have a selection algorithm that great. Yo, 
human. We need you to process these documents before morning. Hey, thanks, human! I was looking for that! Wow, human. Now we can get back to the important job of bureaucracy. Humans require two liters of water a day. I'm not sure how many they require at night, but you look thirsty. Drink up. Humans are 90% water. I'm sure you're 100% now. In an office, the white collar referred to a limitless amount of bureaucratic paperwork that hung around workers' necks. Let's synergize our capabilities. We need an official document in order to proceed. We're going to need a logo that captures the synergies of the two companies. And finally, let's seal the deal with a handshake. I like the way you contractually perform tasks. This will not be the last time we job together. The board members are watching you, and they think you deserve a promotion. Hey, I saw that! Bossbot needs a document from you by morning. Quick, write something. Anything.
document looks great, but it's not enough pages. Could you copy it a few times? So good at documenting. Oh, I saw that. Care for a quick game of basketball, human? You are the star of our office worker night cleanup crew replacement program. There is a direct correlation between increased morale and staying late. It's never too late for coffee and donuts. will help you to work all night. The donuts are simply for morale. Human, you need to get more things on your desk to look more productive. I guess your job is to make a mess, and mine is to clean it up. I hear challenging an interviewer is the right way to succeed, so I challenge you with shaking this hand. I made a document full of achievements. The original one was 76 pages long. This one is compressed. It's important to see how applicants respond to unforeseen changes. How is the possible hire reacting right now? Am I doing good? Is there some way to objectively assess my goodness? Neat. Research shows that title changes may increase productivity. Here's a promotion. Throw something else, human! See what happens! I dare you!
Hello, human. Grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. Hello, human. You've worked the nine to five, but are you ready for infinite overtime? Hello, human, and welcome to the exciting world of... Overtime. When you're ready to start the first order, go ahead and pull the ticket. Wow, lots of bots are lined up to order their food to go. Humans used to call that... Take out. Humans would often stand in line for hours for their meal, even in the middle of the night. Hurry up and get started. Don't keep these bots waiting. My batteries need to be recharged and grub is what they need. My circuits are too dry. I need a cup of hot sauce. I'm going to treat myself tonight. Give me pomegranate. is my personality. Did I get some food to help me recharge before I go into sleep mode? To start, crumpet, please.
I know fluids are important to my core functions. Can I get a cup of liquid? I want cake with topping. It's my cheat day. Success, human! You've made sustenance. Human, I would like to place an order. I know fluids are important to my core functions. Can I get a cup of tea? would be a delicious treat. This was a test of your ability to follow directions. You passed! Late night dining establishments like this were frequented by younger humans and served breakfast well into the night. Breakfast food was believed to pair well with... Grape juice. I don't remember why I'm here, but I'll have something since I've come this far. My main course will be... Pizza with topping.
with grape juice. We'd be the best lubricant for my systems. I'm going to eat this immediately and get back in line! I'm here to pick up food for my underling. My liquid cooling is out of whack, human. Serve me up. Smoothie. My diet also requires cheese. The other chef is faster. Time to get a bigger coffee mug. You've been promoted. For a healthy diet, I require an intake of night food. Starting with... Toast. Will help... Moisture. My appetite. Please tell me you are not out of egg. That is the food item I want most. Thank you, human. You really are as good as they say.
The line is a social space meant for humans to better comprehend. Processing time. I need to eat now before I get angry. I desire smoothie. Please. My memory contains positive emotions towards sweetness. Can I get cake with topping? This was a test of your ability to follow directions. You passed. I'm so glad you're still open. I hear you have the best toast in town. Sandwich in my meal. Cup of liquid for my liquid cooling system.
Finish it up with apple at the very end, please. The other chef is faster. Could I get some food to help me recharge before I go into sleep mode? I will need pomegranate to expand my food zone before the rest of my meal. My liquid cooling is out of whack, human. Serve me up cup of hot sauce. Tasty tree, can you give me cake with topping? Love food package in a rectangular prismic fashion. Humans mainly grade food by the aesthetic of the serving, so make sure to make your dishes extra symmetrical. Can I get some food to help me recharge before I get into sleep mode? I finally decided on soup as my main course.
desire? Smoothie. Please? Human, you've made sustenance. A promotion just for you. It's more likely than you think. Congrats, human. cartridge from the tray and let's get to work. Hello, human. You've worked the nine to five, but are you ready for infinite overtime? Hello, human, and welcome to the exciting world of... Overtime. When you're ready to start, go ahead and pull the first ticket. At night, other human establishments would go into sleep mode. During that time, the convenience store would become the most... Populated. Social gathering spot.
won! I won! I like to claim my prize! It says anything on the ticket. Are you sure this is the prize? I'm too embarrassed to shop while other bots are here. Kick him out and I'll come back. What's going on? Whoa, check it out. Not cool. I 
love buying substances made entirely from artificial ingredients. I need... Burrito. For a prank on my friend? I would like slushy. I've been waiting for Velociraptor to arrive at your store for so long now. Do you finally have it? Well, that's not very convenient. I'm happy to provide you with compensation. I can't believe I was able to buy this so late. Don't be afraid to throw some extras in the bag. Customers love... Surprises. In the barter system. What can I get for? Apple. That rain almost fried my circuits on the way over. I guess I'll buy something and try to wait it out. One. Chips. Please. I need a huge gum. Go big or go home, human. I'm cheap. I refuse to pay full price. Here's a coupon. Here's 
here's some money for you to put in your cash register. I hope this stuff doesn't get wet when I go outside. The board members are watching you, and they think you deserve a promotion. Insert small talk. I need a bag filled with hot dog. This coupon. Am I entitled to a discount? I guess I'll pay cash. Why don't you take credit? Appreciated this interpersonal interactive process. Humans dissatisfied with clerks were known to ask to speak with a manager, who would usually bribe the customer to go away. It's so convenient having a convenience store near me. You know those really small? Job bot pop. I want one of those, but humongous. is really essential to my diet. Do you have one? This was a test. We all do what we have to do to get paid, human. Thanks for transacting with me. I want a dollar, but I'll be happy with anything you give me. easier just to buy this.
human. I had to stop in. This shop is so convenient. Ring me up one of those. Popsicle. a video where someone used a growth hormone to make an item grow. Could you make a big energy drink for me? I have this coupon here. Humans use our old money? Universal credits are so much more efficient. Thanks, human. My boss will love these. In case of the functional collapse of society, convenience stores would stock various artificial foods. Those foods are hardy enough to survive any disaster, natural or otherwise. Does being up this late ever make you want to shop? My internal random number generator requests... Slushy. Of durian. You're not sold out of them yet, are you? I will hopefully survive another day without it. Money can't buy you love, but it can buy me stuff. They say money can't buy happiness. But I think it just did. Time to get a bigger coffee mug. You've been promoted. Human, grab a cartridge from the tray and let's get to work.
A true grease monkey. Get under the hood and get your hands dirty in our simulated mechanics shop. Hello, human. You worked the nine to five, but are you ready for infinite overtime? Hello, human, and welcome to the exciting world of... Overtime. When you're ready to start, pull the chain and we'll be open for... Drifty. Business. We're gonna make so much more money at night than Sleazebot did during the day. This upgrade shop is probably my most... Lucrative. ...idea yet. Make sure you give these customers the most premium service. Our customers expect special tuning. Um, me and parents buy And materials from the junkyard I fill the gas tank and plugs and tunes With all the pistons in the Working hard in drifty loops Never let me bot bot tonement. Bots fall apart Bot loved Invisible bot Mrs. Bot Jawbot also rises on the bot. Bot session. The big bot. A passage to bot. Bot Claudius. Their eyes were watching Jawbot. The bot. The bot's men. The blind bot. Native bot. To the bot house. Rag bot. The French bot's woman. The heart is a lonely bot. Bot. Water. Paste. No, no, no. Zero. Eight. Eight. Seven, four. Delete, 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 delete. One zero, one zero, one one, one zero, one zero, zero, one zero, one one. Laura Epson, Dular, Sid, Ahmed, Consecutor, Epson, Maria. Bot crash. Revolutionary bot. Bot's head revisited. Midbot's children. The prime of Miss G. Oh, 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 we got to see that. We've got to. We've got to. We've got to try. This truck is done. Because it's got my head like a fluid on it. Looking for some totally legal upgrades for my car? Give me a paint job that'll remind me of my manufacturer. The air in my car smells horrible. Can you replace my filter? Ready to 
girl, can you drop the car and give me the bill? Human, I need to get good at racing. I definitely know how a car works, so refill my headlight fluid. Now drop my car and hand me my bill. I'll pay you back, I promise. Human, I need to get good at racing. Driving your car isn't cool. Roll back some miles to make me look cooler. changed. That price is so currency. Drifting was considered too intense by some humans. They would try it on their third race and then revert back to standard races for the rest of their career. I was banned from the road. Can you downgrade my car so it's legal? Could you hue shift my paint color? Give me 
something in my fuel tank to make that engine. Her. I think I've busted something drifting on that last turn. Does my car show the right number of miles if all I do is drift? since I changed my car's oil and it's gummed up the works. First place trophy will be mine. <laughs> Your operating procedures have been increased. Happy promotion, human. Sorry. 
Human, I'm in the middle of a race. All drifters love their tires, and mine are looking a bit shot. See what you can do with my air filter. We just have to jump all night to see the light of day. If we just have to jump tonight. Oh. Bot-driven cars don't have to be great drivers, they just have to be better than humans. I don't have an appointment, but my car is busted. I need a quick review. I need more stuff and some gangly bits to my car. I'll definitely win first place now!
like human. I really want to impress my bot friend. I used all my oil for cooking. Can you put more oil in? Go. Can you drop the car and give me my bill? I'm so happy you were able to fix my car. that drift from a movie. I value this color, but I feel less confident about the hue. Cylinders. Downshifting is the best way to show your racing opponents that you mean business. I think this VIN is hot. Can you upgrade my diesel car? Pigment is power. Could I get a new coat? These plates are causing wind resistance. Could I get some new ones? I need my car to pass smoother through the air. 
Can you put some new oil in? It's not the rider, it's the ride. Job titles are like version numbers for humans, and you just got an upgrade. We just have to jump. 